Whether you're saving up for a big purchase, building an emergency fund, or working toward another financial goal, saving money is important, but it's sometimes easier said than done. Struggling to hit your saving targets can be discouraging, and you might find yourself asking, how can I save more money? To answer that question and help you on the path of financial success, let's break this down into steps. The first step, answer the question, what are you saving for? When your goal is abstract, it can be hard to stay motivated or to put it in another way. If you decide I want to save 500 euros for a week in a way, I might struggle. I might dip into my savings every month and justify it for purchases I really want or need. Instead, set yourself concrete goals that are harder to deviate from. Start by building up an emergency fund with a thousand. Once you've got this in place, you won't have to worry about dipping into your other savings when little emergencies pop up. You've already planned ahead. After you've got a solid emergency fund, set yourself new goals and prioritize their importance to you. A thousand for a new language course, 1,500 for a new laptop, 2,000 or more for a long holiday. The choice is yours. Just make sure you know exactly what you want to save for and how much you're going to need. This is crucial to keeping your motivation up. So, you've set a specific concrete goal. Well done, but now, what if you're not sure about how much you can realistically afford to save each month? First, you need to break down your monthly income and expenses. It's time to make a budget. Allocate money for fixed costs, like food, rent, or mortgage payments, and variable costs, your gym membership, or other non-essential subscriptions. Subtract your total expenses from your total income. If this number is positive, then this amount is what you can realistically save each month. If the number is negative or not very large, you will have to make some adjustments. Try reducing your variable costs as much as possible. Canceling subscriptions, cutting out the gym, or see if you can bring in additional income stream, like freelance work or another side hustle. With a little creativity and determination, you should be able to get your income above your expenses and start setting aside a significant amount of money each month. Once you've got your budget in order, it's time to actually start saving. Luckily, N26 has a bunch of tools to help you save like a pro. Create up to 10 N26 spaces, which are sub-accounts that sit right alongside your main account. Choose a name and a saving goal for each space, like emergency fund, a thousand euro, and start setting aside money right away. Automate regular transfers into your spaces with N26 rules. Once you've decided how much money you can save each month, use rules to spend it into your spaces automatically. Plus, you can always change your rules at any time for added flexibility. Save up your spare change with N26 Roundups. Every time you pay with your N26 card, Roundups rounds your purchase to the nearest euro and transfers the difference into your chosen space so you can save every time you spend. With a little patience and plenty of practice, you'll be hitting your savings goals before you know it. <laughs> Even though it can be challenging, once you implement the right steps, you'll be saving like a pro in no time. Find your motivation, set a budget, and start using the tools available and to you in the N26 app. Still have questions about money management? Or just on the lookout for smart banking tips? Subscribe to the N26 YouTube channel to see more videos that make banking and managing your money easier.